All right, what is going on, everybody? I'm back finally. Darth Magoo has returned. It's been a while. I've had issues with the production, with issues with my camera, issues with my computer. But I got a new camera, new computer, new everything. So we're back. So thank you guys so much for watching. Today we're going to be checking out the Critical Drinker. We got a couple from the Critical Drinker. So we're going to be checking out Ahsoka. Bad writing, bad pandering, wasted potential. And all just kind, all kinds of fuck shit, man. All kinds of fuckery. So, look, we're gonna get into it. Y'all know how I feel about Ahsoka, man. She is my favorite character, one of my favorite characters in all of fiction. And I didn't even watch this series, so that should tell you how I feel about it. Disney, I already knew what they were gonna do. I already knew it. Because it's Disney. You see what they did with every other character in the entirety of Star Wars. It's not going to, the pattern isn't just going to break all of a sudden. I completely given up on Disney Star Wars. Like, like around Mandalorian season two, that's when I was like, yeah, they're just going to keep milking the popular characters. You know, they're going to give you a little nugget of like something juicy here and there and then the rest is just going to be trash retcons redoing everything ruining what star wars was for so many years what it's supposed to be and making it into this you know just milky franchise that they can use so with that being said we're going to get right into the video i'm not going to talk for too long but look i would appreciate it you guys if like if you hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can hear me right at every time these bitch niggas in Hollywood do some bitch nigga shit. Because this, you, you just a bitch, okay? Everybody involved in this, this was a hot mess. I've seen some of the stuff. I've heard some of the stuff about it. This is just a hot mess. I, I, I can't even, I can't even be bothered. I'm not even in the mood today. I'm in a bad mood today. So you're going to hear it all. Let's go. And so we come at last to the season finale of Ahsoka, the fourth Disney Plus show in a row that's apparently gonna save Star Wars. Because the other nope. three were just warm-up acts, you see. Ahsoka is where we finally got to see Dave Filoni's creative abilities fully unleashed. And oh boy, what an eye-opening experience it was. Yeah. I had to sum up Ahsoka in just one sentence, I almost I'd say it's a look show at it. of missed opportunities. Just like its main villain, it was given every oh, resource and advantage I, I, it could possibly- I don't even want to look at the- like, I don't even want to see it. I feel like my eyeballs are being tainted by this, because it's like- the, Here's the way that I feel about Star Wars at this point. The less that I see, the less I consume of this, the better. The more untainted my memory of Star Wars will be. It's it's like seeing it's like it's like seeing them like piss on Star Wars grave. Like I don't want to see that. Just just let me remember it for what it was, for when it was good, for 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 for, for, for. let me remember it for 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 that. That's why I don't want to watch anything else. I'm just done with it. Like I don't even want to look. I don't even want to see a clip, a snippet, a a trailer, a a, a, a slither of Star Wars anymore. I didn't watch the trailer for Ahsoka. I didn't. I you, that that's how you know that they've gotten to. How do you get that trash at running your company? Like, think about that. Think about it. I don't even have to watch. I don't even have to watch a trailer. Okay. Sentence. I'd say it's a show of missed opportunities. I don't even want to look at it, I don't want to know about it. ...they asked for, and should have pulled off an easy win, but somehow managed to squander a single one with absolutely zero impact, and yet still smugly acted as if it had come out on top. So fold your arms and paste a blank expression onto your face because we're going in hard and fast with this one. The basic plotline should be familiar to anyone that watched my previous video, but here Dark. goes anyway. I already knew this was going to be a woke fest. Like, it was just an invitation for it. Like, I even... I did not... This is why I did not watch it. I already knew. 
Oka is on the tail of a witch named Morgan who plans to use a magical bullshit MacGuffin map to travel to another galaxy using the Eye of Sauron and bring back Grand Admiral Thrawn who's been stranded there for the past 10 years after the events of Star Wars Rebels. Along the way she hooks up with a block of wood known as Sabine who also wants to go to the other galaxy so that she can rescue Ezra Bridger who got stranded there along with Thrawn. Don't worry though, he's less of a character with his own unique drives and motivations and more of like a piece of furniture that everyone fights over. Oh yeah, and Hera's also there because she was a character in Rebels. Anyway, it all goes wrong when Sabine gives the magical bullshit map to Morgan uh, and Ahsoka gets her ass kicked by one of the only this. interesting characters in the entire show. But that's okay because she then teleports to a magical get out of jail free card invented by Dave Filoni and has a hallucination of Anakin. Remember Anakin? Oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe he's a force ghost, or a fragment of Anakin's consciousness, or Ahsoka's memory of him conjured up by her subconscious mind to try to save her life. I don't really know, and I'm willing to bet that Dave Filoni doesn't know either. It's all down to interp- <laughs> This is all, like, it's just, this is all they have. I'm about to- This is all they have, man, I'm telling you. It's, it's all they have, like, what the fuck, bro? All, literally, all they have is take a character that people love, nostalgia bait them, throw them in, like, the middle of their series for no reason that it doesn't even make sense. Just, just put them in there because they're that character that people actually recognize and like because all your new characters suck dick, right? Throw them in there and that's all they got. Like what? Like, like what the fuck are we doing here, man? God, they keep doing it. They keep doing it, and that's literally all they do. <laughs> Imagine if they couldn't do that. Imagine where they, for some reason, they just couldn't like milk old characters for no reason. Imagine what they would, what they would do. <laughs> Imagine what Disney Star Wars would do. They would be fucked. <laughs> they, they would be like, oh fuck, we, we gotta come up. We have to write something. Like, bro. It's just, it's, it's just so sad. It's, it's genuine. Like, I know I'm joking a lot. I'm being funny. I'm jumping around and stuff, but look, <sighs> uh, like genuinely, out of all the franchises that have been ruined by, um, <sighs> out of all the franchises that have been ruined by, by like different things, you know, being milked for like money but ruined by like wokeness or just bad writing or anything all all the franchises that have been ruined lately as of the recent years star wars it just hits me differently it hits me differently because of how much star wars meant to me personally and it's like to somebody who truly understands star wars and, and, and who it meant a lot to it's like it's just sad, bro. It almost makes me want to cry when I see what Star Wars has become. I I can't like this is the point that I've gotten to. I can't even look at it anymore. It it's like I don't know. It's like if if you're like a family member of yours became like a crack whore. Like, it would be sad to look. You don't even want to look at them. You're just like, oh, what happened to you, man? Oh. Like, that's what happened to Star Wars. Dude. It's just, it's disgusting. <laughs> like, it's, I know it's just a, a fictional franchise. Okay. But, like, as far as fictional franchises go and, and exploiting them and, and destroying them goes, this is, like, the worst. This is, like, this is, this is just this is fucked bro like what the fuck bro i i don't even want to watch this anymore bro the I, I love the critical drinker i love you bro crit that's my guy but this video it, 
I can't finish it, dude. Like it, it it's like I don't want to see anything. I don't I literally that's I never could imagine myself getting to this point with anything where it's like I don't even want to see it. It's like I might just have to end the video here, dude. It's like, bro, Star Wars, the impact that it had. Just with me personally, not even forget about the whole world, because it had a massive impact on the world. But the impact it had on me personally is just insane. Growing up, and it's like... They took all all the deep shit in there. All the all the all the 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 messages in the store. Everything that Lucas had in there. They just took it and fucked it all up. They literally took it and fucked it. In an upward motion. Particularly. And it's like I can't even look at it anymore. I'm just so sick. Oh oh. It, it, it all they do is milk old characters for no reason characters whose stories are done and wrapped up they're retconning they retcon things that were perfectly fine that were made sense for the story they retcon them so so that they can bring characters back or change just so that they can have them in their series because their series is fucked without cameos from random beloved characters without it their series is fucking fucked bro they it's so it, like they can't that's the I'm sorry yep yep this was a, a nice little video if you want to see me rant more about this in further detail, I guess watch my other Ahsoka video, which I have yet to upload again, because I had computer issues, so both of these are going to go up at the same time. I want to watch this, because I love listening to Critical Drinker. He's going to make some amazing points. I know he is about why this sucks, but I can't, I literally cannot bring my little, my little Magoo heart to put it through this anymore, to watch this to watch like even listening to it I, I just don't even want to hear about it bro that's that's I just want to rant about it and just move on and I think that's what I've done peace now it's so bright it's hard to breathe but that's all right hush